<laughs> just be still. I'm, we're going to try put this on and try to give you that new stylish haircut. <laughs> oh, I, th oh, I thought you were going to do a, a brain scan. No, on no, no. There's no use doing a brain scan on you. Well, I got <laughs> those scans would be wasted. <laughs> well, I got news for you. That bowl isn't going to help this hair either, but no. uh, <laughs> never hurts to try. You know, Mr. Steve, the hair burner, he uses yes. a much smaller bowl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, of course, we're in for a major lawsuit with him. Yes. But that's okay. But that's all right. That's all right. Yeah. We don't care. Mm -mm. Money is no object. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm Larry Bly. I'm Laban Johnson. And, and we're a cook and cheese. Yeah, we are. And we've got a, a goofy show today. Oh, no. Yeah, that's we do. impossible. Bring the witch in and we'll find out why. Another I, goofy show. Oh, Who yeah. could imagine? I don't know, but it's... Ah! Here she comes. Oof! Sorry. I'll send her around this way. Boink. <laughs> oh, no, don't do that to the witch. It's hard to find good witch throwers anymore. What? Here, you can read it. Oh, thank you. I love it when I get to read them. <laughs> Dear boys, have you got any new meatball recipes? My whole family looks forward to your annual meatball shows. And they're just talking about yeah. just our appearances. Uh -huh. We're crazy about them, and we never get tired of them. Thanks, as always, the Bearing family, <laughs> Round Ball Lane, East Orb, New Jersey. <laughs> you well, know, yes, I, folks, I got to tell you, Larry and I laugh all the time. We do a meatball show practically every time we do a, a, a new season. In of fact, shows. I think we have more meatball recipes than we have casserole recipes. It is unbelievable, and the the funny thing about it is, and this is the truth, I put my hand on my heart. I honestly do not know anybody that fixes meatballs for dinner. No. At Christmas, I run into a few of them on, you know, buffet tables and things. But honestly, I guess we're just culturally deprived here in the mountains of VA. Well, now, you know, uh, of course, you've been with me to numerous parties, a few down yes. through the years. And you know how many meatballs I eat at parties? Yes. None. And it's not one just, of my favorite things in the world, but these are pretty good. The ones I'm going to make are a meatball appetizer. I thought all meatballs were appetizers. No, they're main. This is a main course I'm doing. This today. was sent in by Lou Burns of Lynchburg. Thank you. And uh, this recipe I'm doing is called Turkish meatballs, and you'll find out why it's called that in a little while. And it's uh, how sent many in by Karen, gave up their life Karen Petroni. Mm -hmm. of, of Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. So this is, well, God bless you. Oh, It's terribly drafty yes. here in the old cooking uh. chief studio, <laughs> and one of our staff members has come down with a cold. Uh. And the very lovely, will be here in a few minutes, yeah, Doris, Doris, barbecued meatball. Now that sounds yes. good. Anything barbecued is good enough for me. Anything is, I'm mm -hmm. telling you. And that was sent in by Rachel Deddens, I guess it is, of Lynchbury. So anyway, you want to start or you want me to start? You want to start or oh, you want me to I'll start? start. But, uh, you know, and we also have to say uh, that Miss Carol is not here today. She's been laid out sick. She's got the snorts. Oh, real bad. Real bad. Except this it's even is, worse than that. <clears throat> we're taping this show during the cold and flu season, and it's lazily snowing outside. It's real pretty. Real Hit pretty. it. All right. Th this, these meatballs are made out of turkey, ground turkey. Oh, no. And here it is. And it really is an easy meatball recipe. I mean, there's not a lot of bad stuff to do. But the ground turkey, of course, for those of you that are looking for heart healthy recipes, Look, it's moving. this is one. Now, Larry, let me see. I wanted, we're, I needed to get some. I believe I've that got, turkey's still alive. What is this? Well, well, that's a strange thing to start with. Well, I thought maybe, you know, I'd just bring them in so that. Uh, you remember you that old Cal joke? Right? <laughs> you, you used to shake hands one finger at a time? Uh -huh. That's, uh, that's a, a, a dairy farmer joke. Well, I have found that, one finger at you know, a when time. you're using ground poultry or anything at home, and I'm going to roll these without these on in a few minutes, so I, you have to be careful. You have to wash your hands. But if you're doing meatloaf or something, these are great because you can do it all together. And then if the phone rings, you can just well, I rip them right that, off. I noticed that Mike Carroll was using one of those a while ago when he put his microphone <laughs> on you. <laughs> all ahead. right, here's a pound of ground turkey. And into it, we're going to add one egg. And just put the egg down in there. And that took care of that. And... Uh, 
a third of a cup of breadcrumbs. Use the unseasoned ones, please. And uh, uh, there you go, a third of a cup of breadcrumbs. And uh, four cloves of garlic that have been minced, and they're right here on my board. Uh, I, while I was waiting for Larry, I now what, uh, what time do you like come in two hours ahead of time now or what? Well, you know, makes I me got nervous. plenty of time. Uh, and some cumin. And this is ground cumin. And let me just take the top of it. We need a half of teaspoon of cumin. There we go. I, cumin, I have to be honest, is not one of my favorite herbs, but... There it is, or spice, and some salt, and I'm just using a little bit. <laughs> what are you doing back there? <laughs> well, look, you look like a turkey. Uh, See, I'm trying to, well, look in the monitor. Oh, See, you I look do. like a turkey. Either that, yes, or an Indian. Or, no, an Indian. Yeah. I look like Chief Powhatan. All right, and Fun let me with put gloves, some, ladies and gentlemen. Let me put some pepper in here. And all you do now is to squeeze this stuff around to get it, uh, mixed up. So I, I'm going to put on my surgical gloves here. <laughs> oh, <Yeah. laughs> for heaven's sake. And uh, get into the mixing of it. And Larry, you might want to, well, I don't Now, let we want to watch a just a while. moment of this. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Now, my friend. Dr. Le Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> my Johnson friend, MD. Lena May Preston, uh -huh. the, the late, sweet, wonderful Lena May, taught me how to do this kind of stuff. And when you're making meatloaf, this is very important. Just do it with the tips of your fingers. That's right. Don't squeeze it through your hand. If you do it like this, the meatballs or the meatloaf will be real tender. And uh, but if you if you handle it too much, you can really mess it up. So I'm just gonna. If you handle it too much, what you do is you you don't aerate it, and it gets right. as hard as a golf ball. Mm -hmm. That's true. Well, I'm so ready to start it. here. You go right ahead. Meatball appetizers, and I tell you, I've tried it, and it's good. Now, as one who is not, uh, a, a, I do not favor meatballs in the slightest, but this is not a bad recipe. And strangely enough, you start out with your, you start out with your sauce first. Mm -hmm. So what you do, you know those jellied cranberry things that comes out, yes. sort of looks like it came from outer space, <laughs> some sort of gelatinous mess. See, when I grew up, ladies and gentlemen, I thought that that's what cranberry looked like when it came out of the field. Uh, because I had never seen cranberry that wasn't formed perfectly like a can. But this does call specifically for jellied cranberry sauce, and that's the way you buy it, just mm -hmm. like that. Now, by the same token, I had lots of friends who lived in the city who thought that eggs came out of goodness only knows where and had no idea where milk came from. So I don't feel too ignorant about the whole well, thing. Well, you know, I lived in the city, and that's what we had for cranberries every year, Thanksgiving. Or really? These when, things? Yeah, yeah. The jelly rather yeah. than the whole berries. And it was only later on in my life that I learned that cranberries could be wonderful, just plain. Oh, I love to just get a bag of them and just boil them up with a little sugar. Uh, it calls for a can of jelly cranberry sauce, and a half a can is about one cup if you break it out. To that, you then add one cup of chili sauce, something else that I never keep around the house, and I had just thrown some away from a cooking cheap meatball show a few years ago, and I, did, I got tired of falling across <laughs> this, and I said, I'll never use this stuff, I'll never use it, and I threw it away, and yesterday I looked for it, and looked for it, and looked for it, and looked for it, and it was awful. So anyway, that goes in there. I think I have just enough that I won't have to look for it again as long as I live. I hope that all of it gets used so I don't have to mess with it again. And you start heating this up on real slow. You don't want to burn it now, so you start it real slow. Although I never have to worry about that on that eye. I turn it all the way up to blazing hot and it won't do much. To that, you add a quarter cup of brown sugar. It's sort of a sweet and sour thing. And also some lemon juice. And I have a fresh old lemon right here. And uh, do we have a, a, a juicer? Because this lemon, this is one of those little tiny lemons, has thousands. Of seeds. Of thousands. That's why they're cheap right of now. Yeah, they are. These are, are pretty cheap, and they just broke out with, with seeds. Just horrible. So anyway, 
uh, there's about one whole lemon you put in there, a, a small lemon, not one of those big ones, and put that in there. See, this just got tons of seeds in there. That one's a terrible bad, strangely enough. It's this side that has all the seeds in it. So anyway, that goes in there. And, uh, and I think that's about it, the cranberry sauce, the chili sauce, brown sugar, and the lemon juice. And in a couple of minutes, I still got seeds in it. And in a couple of minutes, we will make up the actual beef part of this. And anyway, you just start cooking this right now very slowly up on the thang. Mr. Johnson is rolling out uh, the meat his meatballs balls and having a barrel of fun. Now, with the meatballs, <laughs> if you dip your hands in water first, they, they won't stick to your hands. And this recipe that Karen sent in is kind of weird because they're not balls. They're, they're, well, they're balls, but they're little football things. They're, Beg your pardon. She recommended that you m make the size of the meatballs like little footballs. Oh, so for that's, heaven's sake. That's what I'm doing. Pigskin parade. Uh-huh. And oh, so th this would be a wonderful recipe for football season if you have the gang over to watch a game or something. Mm-hmm. I have to and wash so, my hands. I hope they have a lot of soap over there today. Uh, do they? Do they actually have some? Oh, yes, lots of soap. Mm, uh -huh. Yeah, mm, too much soap. Okay. Well, it's TV, you know, you're supposed uh -huh. to fake it. <laughs> well, that's all right. I was just getting the juice off in my hands. Now, do you want me to do the rest of this? Yeah, go right ahead. Okay, well, that's the, that's the part of it that everything floats around in. And then you take about a pound of lean ground hamburger, which is what I have here. And to this, whoops, excuse me, I didn't mean to do that. We're going to add uh, an egg. There's an egg. One egg. Some chopped onion. A teaspoon of oregano. Am I right on that? I think I remember this. Yeah, a teaspoon of oregano. A little oregano. Don't be too heavy handed with it because it'll just get a little. Uh, half a cup of bread crumbs goes Doris in. went down the hall to the supply closet what did and she got do? us she some got soap. Us. Well, isn't that just wonderful? You know, she's just a living martyr. That goes hardest in there. Hardest working woman in show She business. is the hardest working woman uh, in uh, this uh, building. Now, let's see what else. Uh, egg, salt and pepper to taste. We'll add that in a cup. Now, i got to chop up some onion, so I will just uh, chop some old onion up here in a couple of minutes, put a little of that in. Chop the onion very fine because you don't want big old onion pieces flying out at people's when they're trying to eat at the party right. or whatever it is Gagging. they're trying to do. Start and, a fight. Yeah, that's true. Now, you see, this stuff is starting. Well, I can't believe it. It's actually heating. When you don't want it to go like crazy, it's, it's burning everything. Not really, but, I mean, that's too fast. You want it real slow. And you just start heating that in advance. A couple of minutes, we'll be making these meatballs. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. So, anyway, chop up about a half of an onion and make sure that you chop it very, very fine. That is not, well, for heaven's sake, I have stuff flying all over the place here. Just about a half of one will do. You don't need uh, an awful lot. And chop it real, 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 real fine because uh, big pieces are not allowed. Well, I'm glad to see that you've mastered the technique of onion mincing. Oh, yes. Well, you know, I love to mince onions, but I won't mince words. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. I never do. So anyway, we'll chop those up real good. A couple of big pieces there. And you add that to the mix. And now we're going to do the same thing that Mr. Johnson just did. Except I'm going to do mine all natural. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know how well, I I'd just be love glad to... to... Doris, I'm going to need a large measuring cup because I've got and a And he's right. You just take your little fingers like so. You don't want to squish it. You just want to use your fingertips for the most part and get in there. And you've got to mix all of that stuff real well because you've got to make sure that your oregano gets fairly well distributed through the beef. Otherwise, you'll have two meatballs with all the oregano in it, which will most assuredly be an unpleasant experience for everyone involved. And you also need to make sure that you 
to get the uh, breadcrumbs and the onions fairly well distributed too. But if you're not careful, your problems will increase exponentially as oh, you go. Oh, what a lovely the... word. <laughs> That's the word for the day. Okay, so there we go. That's pretty good. And now what you do is you just start rolling these out. Oh, I didn't put any salt and pepper on. Excuse me. Where's the salt and pepper? We have some, don't we? Yeah, right over. Well, there it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, me. well, i got to wash and my I've hands got a can. first. All right, well, while you're doing that, let me uh, start into to my sauce. Uh, you need two tablespoons of tomato paste. And there it is. That's just two. That's enough. All right. And also three tablespoons full. Can I borrow? Do you have your tablespoon in there, Larry? I have a teaspoon. Oh, and I brought. Well, just use three or four of them, and you'll be oh, all right. Oh, I brought the wrong. <laughs> this is supposed to be lemon juice. Have you got any lemon left? Uh, no. I'm sorry. I well, well, I do. I do indeed. I brought an extra lemon along. All right, well, good. I just knew that a friend was going to be able to use. You're right. And here's the proper right. thing. Have you got the reamer over there? Uh, yes. A little juice set. Just so busy keeping Mr. Johnson in supplies. Mm -hmm. Well, I but, appreciate uh, it because I had squeezed out the lemons already. Oh, it's too. You want me to do that? No, I can get it. Let's when see. I'm uh, standing by, I'm willing to help you. I know. Anytime you need. Harold, he's standing by. He's got a wheelbarrow. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Anyway. <laughs> oh, this now is television, the, darling. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I put the salt and pepper in while you weren't looking. <laughs> Bless her heart. Aren't we terrible? All right. Well, My this camera is camera person number one. I love you. She realized I hadn't really done it, but you know what? I just didn't want to do it. But I should have put salt and pepper in. Thank this you. is supposed to be three tablespoons of lemon juice. Oh, well. We're just a bunch of old TV crabs. Yes, we never we do what and, we say we're going to do. And now I have to add to this a cup and a half of water. So let me see if I can bring that up. Let me know when I can give my recipe. OK, go ahead. OK, the meatball appetizer, cup of jelly cranberry sauce, cup of chili sauce, quarter cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of lemon juice. That's the, it's the stuff it goes in. And then uh, the meatballs, a pound of lean ground beef, teaspoon of oregano, half a cup of, <laughs> a half a chopped onion, excuse me, uh, a half a cup of crumbs, bread crumbs preferably, I think would be better. Uh, but I, I guess you could, I guess you could use uh, cracker crumbs, but I'm using bread crumbs. Salt and pepper to taste. Don't forget the salt and pepper to taste. And cook it on top of the stove until it's done. Actually, you cook it on top of the stove for, you cover it and you simmer it for about one hour. Now, Mr. Johnson, where are you on this All right. mess? Well, I'm making the sauce, which is two tablespoons of tomato paste three tablespoons of lemon juice and a cup and a half of water. And I'm gonna bring it to a, a boil, I hope. And then we will put the fried, uh, and, and you can do these, I think you could bake them, although the recipe calls for frying them, or use a non-stick pan like I did and with very little oil in it, just a drop or two. And so you've essentially got a very non-fat recipe here, so, which is awfully good for you. And uh, as soon as this boils, I'm going to put the meatballs down in the sauce. Uh, okay. Ooh. Now, I have rolled out just a whole bunch of meatballs and put them in there. And you will cover this and simmer it for about one hour until they're done. So that's at the, at the covering and simmering stage. And it makes even more than that. But that's all the time I'm going to have today to roll them out. Because, ladies and gentlemen, by popular demand, she's back anyway. <laughs> they're very lovely and semi-voluptuous. Doris. What do you got, Doris? Okay, I have a barbecued meat, uh, meatballs, and I tried uh, a baking some of mine and frying them to see if you can tell the difference, but then after I put them in there, I couldn't, the small ones are supposed to be the ones I fried and the larger ones I baked, and, and I like to bake mine uh, rather than fry them, then you don't have the extra grease and whatever mm -hmm. for, the, for the meatballs. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, this was sent in by Rochelle Deddens from Lynchburg, Virginia, and it has 21 ingredients in it. But don't let it scare you because it goes real quick. It's just getting it out <laughs> and doing. But um, 
It takes one pound of hamburger, two slices of bread, a half a cup of milk, one egg beaten, one teaspoon of salt, a fourth a teaspoon of black pepper, and a half a cup of chopped onion. And then you uh, mix the meatballs up and roll them in flour. And uh, either uh, you can fry them. It doesn't say anything about oil, but uh, I put a little bit of oil in to get it started. <laughs> Somebody's lost up there. And for the sauce, you used three tablespoons of butter, one medium onion, one cup of ketchup, two tablespoons lemon juice, one teaspoon dry mustard, a fourth a teaspoon black pepper, two tablespoons brown sugar, one clove minced garlic, a half a cup mm. chopped celery, three fourths a cup of oh. water, two tablespoons of vinegar, one teaspoon of salt, and a dash or more of Tabasco. She really gets turned so. on when I go to sleep on her. <laughs> so I, I started mine early uh, oh, and made, made, the, <laughs> made the sauce. And I don't, it said to cook, make your sauce and let it cook a little while. And it didn't say how long. So I put it on, took my shower, and then it was done, I guess. And then you put the meatballs in and cook them for another 40 minutes. Um, yeah, I'll have to terrific. hick them up. And they, 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 the meatballs tasted good, and uh, the sauce sounds like they it, smell it ought to great. be pretty good. And it doesn't say what to put it over, so I made some noodles to, to bring in to um, to put over it. I don't know how it was supposed to be meant, as a dinner or, as like you say, as a cocktail thing. Okay. Thank you. Dr. J, you want to give your recipe? Yes. Uh, for this wonderful Turkish meatball recipe sent in by Karen Petroni of Philadelphia, We've got a pound of ground turkey, one egg, a third of a cup of breadcrumbs, four cloves of garlic minced, a half a teaspoon of cumin, salt and pepper to taste. And the sauce is two tablespoons of tomato paste, three tablespoons of lemon juice, a cup and a half of water, and again, salt and pepper to taste. Okay, my meatballs are all steamy and wonderful and done, and I'm putting them in a nice little bowl for serving, oh. and they're just beautiful. And I will tell you this, even though I'm not real wild about the things, that really is a very pretty recipe, and it is a delicious recipe. I promise you it is. I'd have you over, but I'd have to tell you how to find the studio. So how are you coming with this? Well, this is coming. They they really need to cook in the sauce for five to ten minutes. Oh, but I'm sorry they, to hear that, Mr. Well, Johnson. that's all right. They're, they're cooked all the way through. That'll <laughs> just heat them up. And uh, I'm going to serve these over rice. Well, we've got three minutes all to right. do it in. All right. Well, let me just skirt. Uh -huh. These are, are the little shit. This is what it looks like over here, the raw meatballs before you cook them and uh, these are the they are proper, football shaped yeah, little football shaped things and I really don't know why that is but it is now let's see Doris you're gonna have to help me because I'm gonna have to leave this here and take the rice with me maybe we ought to bring the plates over here and serve them here since I have to put rice on you can walk behind us Doris <laughs> It is permitted in television, yes. although usually it's illegal in TV to do such Let a thing. Put in some rice and a couple of meatballs for Mr. Bly. Mm -hmm. And a little of the sauce. And there you go. Yeah, I'm going to bring mine over and we better do it quickly. That. Oh. Mm hmm. Do, 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 do. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm, I'm over here, and I'm going to try some of this stuff out. Mr. Johnson's rice and meatball. Mmm, not bad, Dr. J. Not bad at all. Let me serve you some noodles. Let me try. Noodles. Oh, that's the greatest of plenty. Oh, that'll be fine, just two noodles. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough. Thank you very much. Let me try this barbecue stuff. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Doris, I think we've hit the jackpot with that one. That's, of course, you know, I just love barbecue anything. Mm -hmm. And now mine. Definite taste of oregano, but very, very good. Well, I think this is superb. Well, I'm so glad. And you know, I'm, I oh, don't, now I'm confused. I don't know who's... Well, you know, I'm not used to having rice and, and noodles all at the same time, mm -hmm. and it's thrown me off terribly. Completely. Well... All of these, these are, are very respectable. Mm-mm-mm. I'm telling you, I like them. Well, good. But I'm not serving them for dinner. <laughs> well, then don't. Mm. But you'll like them, too. we got to mm -hmm. go. Right. Mm -hmm. 